Hello guys, this is Bubba Drew. Uh, as you see, I didn't use my usual intro there. Um, I actually think I'm going to be throwing that away for the time being, unless anyone is attached to that. Um, I'm making this video because I realize, and I'm sure all of you realize that too, that uh, I've been dead for a little while. I've been off the radar and I decided to make a video to let you guys know that I am not leaving YouTube uh, I'm just merely thinking about what comes next and we're in Gary's mod to do that just as sort of a backdrop I do not remember installing or maybe I do I don't, know, I don't remember the city being this big but anyway anyways uh, let's get on to this video and address a few things. First and foremost, if you're wondering what I'm using in Gary's mod right now, this is the Sim Physics vehicle pack. There are actually a lot of modded vehicles for SimFiz. I'll actually put the name of the the name of the mod in the video right here. You're probably seeing it right now. Uh, just look for that and you'll be able to gain access to vehicles that have significantly better physics than the standard uh, Half-Life vehicles. So yeah, it's a pretty cool mod. I would recommend installing proper uh, proper software to get them to run, unlike me, who didn't exactly do that until the vehicles glitched out. So have fun. And I have a whole video about some physics. Anyways, um, I've been talking about upgrading my my video editing uh, software for quite a while now, but the one big problem is I know two editing softwares that I would like to get my hands on, but I'm still kind of torn between which one's better than the other. This is a dead end. Hang on a second. Uh, but anyways, those two editing softwares that I have considered are Adobe Premiere, which I actually have a demo of, but I'm not going to use the demo because you will see an annoying watermark in the middle um, indicating that you should buy the full version in order to get rid of that watermark. The other one is Sony Vegas. Now, if I remember correctly, Sony Vegas is the more expensive one can also do quite a bit with it. But either way, they're both pretty expensive softwares, so I just really don't know what, which one to choose and which one would benefit me. Heck, maybe there's a demo of Sony Vegas out there that I can get my hands on. I'd probably have a watermark, but I guess it'll give me a chance to see what it can do. Uh, the other thing I want to address is I've been considering doing this car series. I still don't have a name for it. Uh, the only outline that I can do, or the only outline that I have, is that I would like to start off uh, quote-unquote reviewing some of the cars that my family owns, although I don't want to say review because I am not a critic. I am more of just like a I just show things and appreciate them for what they are, kind of thing. Um, and a uh, funny story, I was originally going to have my car be the first car featured on this series, but as it turned out, the uh, 2002 Chevy Malibu that I owned clearly had a limited amount of time left, and the steering rack completely went kaput. Um, I was driving home one day, and the steering wheel, I noticed, was way off-center, but I was still able to drive straight. Then, as I was going to visit my grandparents' house, I made a right turn, and then I realized that the brakes were starting to get weaker, and the pedal would go all the way down to the floor with no resistance. So, uh, luckily I was close to gra my grandparents' house at that point, and I realized my right wheel was turning all the way, or well, not all the way, but 
my right wheel was turning to the right, and my left wheel was just completely straight. And the brake fluid was leaking. So, needless to say, uh, we had to sell the car, and by now it's probably scrapped, and, uh, yeah. So, a few moments for the 2002 Malibu. Now, with that being said, uh, I will probably end up starting with my parents' vehicles. Uh, my dad owns a Silverado. I would definitely like to do a video on that, because, you know, trucks, what can go wrong there? And then my mother, she owns a Jeep Commander. Not exactly the most exciting, but it, it's a start. But then, of course, my dad's personal hot rod and our pride and joy is the Fox Body Mustang, a 1990 Ford Mustang LX hatchback model. So I would definitely like to do a series like that because number one, it gets me out of the house from, and doing videos like these, although I still want to do videos like these. Um, and number two, it allows me to meet people and drive their vehicles because I was thinking about working from my relatives up to people who would, you know, volunteer for that kind of stuff. Um, the only problem is it is winter where I am at, and we have snow and salt, and that doesn't usually make for a very good video. Um, so I might actually wait until spring comes for the series to even gain any traction. Actually, I'll probably start a separate channel too for that kind of stuff because I don't think it would fit in with my gaming channel a la the uh, channel you're watching right now. So, look forward to that. However, I will be working on this series throughout the winter uh, and all that kind of stuff and I'll try to, once again, maintain a schedule for this channel. Uh, I know for for the car series I'm doing, I want to do some research beforehand so I know something about the car that I will be showcasing uh, and possibly write a script or possibly come up with some jokes even though uh, I want to focus more on me driving and saying things whilst I am driving the cars rather than having a regular car reviews style commentary nothing not that there's anything wrong with that I love regular car reviews I just want to say that right now it's just, uh, I want it to be somewhat different than regular car reviews. Also, uh, a bit of a random note. Guess what film series this car is from? I, uh, I hope some people get it. But to address why I have been gone for such a long time, uh, the reason is pretty simple. I was spending time with family over the holidays. That, of course, seemed to go into January. Uh, but the other thing is, I ended up quitting my job at uh, the business I worked at as a sewing machine operator. I just thought it wasn't a good fit. I mean, I seemed to be doing well, but I just started to look, like, think about things and think about where I was going and what I'd be doing. And I think I could do better, even though that wasn't really too hard or anything, and I feel like I knew it. I mean, <laughs> probably down the road I'll probably just apply again, because they did say um, that it wasn't the end, and I could apply any time if I wanted to. So I'll probably just do that. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me right now. Um, I hope you guys can understand some of the uh, predicaments that I've been involved in. Well, not really predicaments, but... I hope you guys can understand what has been going on and all that kind of stuff. I will still post videos here, uh, or what they'll be about, I have no idea. I just do things, like the Joker. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, if you have any ideas about what sort of editing software you'd like me to use, uh, also feel free to let me know in the comments. And, uh, with that being said, I will see you all later.